guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a big curly hair routine slash tutorial for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. I normally do these about once a year but I had to kind of switch up my routine and the products I was using because I was using a lot of Diva Curl products and I no longer use them so um, yes this is completely Diva Curl free. I know a lot of people are looking for different products that they can use and yeah I had to switch up my routine as well so this is more so based on the actual routine and the category of products rather than the brands which is really good so hopefully you guys can recreate this um, for your hair type if you guys want to if you like curly content then be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already also be sure to follow my instagram and let's get straight into this Okay guys, so I'm starting off with, of course, hair that needs to be washed. I normally like to wash my hair once a week. This is probably like day five hair, um, and I just felt like I couldn't push it anymore. Normally for the last two days, I would like put it in a bun or just style it in other ways, uh, but I wanted to film this video. So once a week is normally what I go for. So now you're joining me from my bathroom floor, and I'm just gonna talk you through some products that I really like at the moment. The first products are the Bondi Boost Hair Growth Shampoo and Conditioner. This is just really good to help stimulate hair growth. I also love the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner and Shampoo for when my hair is feeling a little bit drier. I also love the Bomb Bomb Bumble Sunday Shampoo for clarifying. I also love Olaplex Number no. 3. This is a great treatment and I love using this to just help rebuild my hair. And some masks that I love are the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. I also love the Intensive Hydration Hair Mask from Shea Moisture and the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask too. And this is my favorite leave-in from Shea Moisture as well. Just a quick side note, obviously all of these products are what are working for me at the moment and especially because I had to cut out a lot of products that were really working for me for Diva Curl, but it's more so about the type of products that these are. I'm learning a lot more about um, moisture balance, protein balance. Although I love these products for the moment, I'm still really open to trying lots of new products rather than being set on one brand, which is where I kind of used to stand so yeah just a quick side note anyway let's get back to washing my hair <laughs> so as per usual i have my head flipped over the bath i like to wash my hair upside down i just find it so much easier than like washing it in the shower and i'm just going to be shampooing my hair i'm actually clarifying today so i'm using that bb sunday shampoo and i'm also going to be doing a second wash with one of the other shampoos as well um so yeah i've got so many shampoos to be honest so i have a lot of choice um depending on how my hair is feeling so I do a double hair wash and then I will use a treatment so at this point I would either condition or use a treatment but today I'm using Olaplex and you're supposed to use this without any conditioner and that's why I'm doing that but if I wasn't then I would be conditioning as normal and I'm just combing this through my hair and I'm actually going to be putting this into a shower cap and um, making sure that all the heat get sealed in this is super important whenever you're doing a mask or um, any kind of treatment using heat on your hair just to kind of like allow it to sink in more is really really helpful and you'll just find that you get more out of these treatments that you are using on your hair so i have it in a shower cap and then i'll just put it in a hair wrap and then i'll just be sorted for a little bit i also after this would put on a mask as well and do the same thing depending on how my hair is feeling just i always kind of like mix and match treatments and i will sometimes as well use a diffuser on my hair just to quicken the process and to heat up that treatment in my hair. So now that I have washed my hair, I have applied an Olaplex treatment and I've also applied a mask and washed it out. It's time to put all my styling products in. So I'm kind of very loosely sectioning my hair, not really, it's just so that I can get my products through my hair as like evenly as possible but I'm starting off first of all with a hair milk I usually like to start off with all of my moisturizing products and then go in with the more um hold products afterwards so the products that kind of help my hair to spring up I'll use them after I've done my moisturizing products so I'm just putting this hair milk through my hair this one is specifically from the blueberry bliss range from curls and I'm just running this through my hair and just making sure that it's evenly distributed another way that I like to make sure that it's evenly distributed through my hair is to comb it through with a Denman brush this is just a really good brush that just helps to get everything through comb it but also distribute product really evenly 
And then I'm also going to be taking this uh, cream from Brio Geo, and this one has more protein in it, so this one's going to help to define my hair, and yeah, just using a good balance of moisture-rich products and protein products are super important, and I've learned a lot about that, and I've just seen so much more improvement in my hair. So yeah, I'm just flipping my hair upside down, and I'm going to be combing both of those products evenly through my hair so that it's just nice and coated, and I just find that doing this upside down really helps for me because I don't have any layers in my hair at the moment and I need all the volume I can get so if I comb my hair flat to my head then I notice my hair doesn't have a lot of volume and I don't like that so I kind of need to help myself out because I don't have layers and do everything upside down. My goal is to scrunch my hair at this point and also take out all of the excess water because my hair is quite wet to start diffusing. You want to make sure that your hair isn't completely sopping wet when you go to diffuse your hair. Otherwise, not only will it take ages, but it might just affect the way that your curls form as well. And the more drier my hair gets, it's obviously not dry at this point, but the drier that my hair gets, I like to slowly apply more gel-like products. So this one is a gel cream from Bounce Curl and this one's kind of quite light, the hold isn't too much so I can apply this when my hair is still damp and I'm just scrunching my hair and using this product to kind of maneuver that and then I start to diffuse. I will apply one more gel a little bit later and that's a much more thicker, more heavy hold gel and I'll apply that once my hair has been diffused for a little bit but for now I find that my hair doesn't like really heavy hold gels too early on when my hair is too wet I find that it gets quite stringy so I need to kind of separate my product placement into my hair so as you can see I'm just diffusing and this part is quite self-explanatory I'm doing kind of different positions sometimes with my head upside down to the side to the other side and this just helps really um, create that volume and just make sure that the curls have a lot of movement and they're not all just kind of like stuck to my head of course like I said I don't have layers so this can happen quite easily when all my hair is basically one length um, layers definitely help to create more volume in your hair which I definitely want to do at some point but at the moment I don't have them so yeah <laughs> so once I've diffused my hair for a little bit and I've gotten that dampness out of my hair I feel that it's more of a safe place to take a gel that's a little bit more thick and has more hold and I can start to apply this to my hair to create more bounce and to really lift up and define my curls this is the curl control jelly from the blueberry bliss range from curls as well i've really been liking this range completely not sponsored i bought these all myself uh, but i've just been really liking it at the moment so once i've put that into my hair and i've kind of like scrunched it up a little bit i will continue with the diffusing process just doing the same thing flipping my hair side to side and just continuing onwards so yeah this is pretty much the gist of it i really just like to focus on flipping my hair around and not touching the actual curls too much not separating them not bothering the actual curls but more so maneuvering the root just by kind of flipping my head around and i will scrunch but that's pretty much all i'll do i'd probably say what's made the biggest difference in my hair and when i see the best results is using an even amount of products and making sure to not use products that are too overly moisturizing and not having products that have any protein in it i feel that my hair needs a good balance of both so i'll start off with something more hydrating like the milks and the creams and then i will go on to um gels and creams that have protein in it to kind of help me out a little bit. So I will diffuse my hair until it's about 95% dry and for the last 5% I will just blow dry my hair normally uh, without the diffuser head just at the root to make sure it's dry and also to give me a little bit more volume because like I said I need it and then I will just use a pick just to pick it at the root a little bit just to give my hair a little bit more volume again but I find this works better on second day hair my hair always looks better on second day for some reason so guys this is the finished tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed this let me know down below some of your favorite products for curly hair I would love to know I'm always willing to try new products um, I really hope that you guys found this informative and helpful and I will catch you all very soon be sure to like this video if you like curly content just so I know that you want to see more and I will see you in the next one Bye guys.